Rabbi Mintz described tonight that we often have these subconscious motivations for things that we do and decisions that we make. Um, right? I believe Rabbi Friedman's question is, can Rabbi Mintz give us some advice for how we can detect these motivations when they exist? We think we're acting in good faith. We think we're acting, we're doing the right thing, but somehow deep within the inner, inner sanctum of our hearts, there's some, there's some other motivation that's impelling us to make our decision. How would we find that? How would we come across it? We see that great people have failed. Uh, Rav Yaakov Kamenetsky comments that sometimes people that the, that the sages said acted on a certain, because of a certain reason, was so subconscious they didn't even realize it themselves. So how are we supposed to realize these motivations? How are we supposed to detect them and realize what's convincing us to make, to make the move? We all know that we have uh, weaknesses. We all know that we have desires. We all know we have laziness. And we've spoken many times in the past how we work on those things. Now is concentrating on that we have it, but we sometimes we don't realize that that is what's motivating us. The person knows he's lazy. People, I mean, we always feel lazy sometimes. There's no question about it. We all have sometimes arrogance sometimes. We feel something bigger than somebody else, whatever it is, maybe. We all have anger. We know we have it in ourselves. My point tonight was that sometimes we don't realize that at this moment, that is the thing that's motivating us. But we have to work on ourselves to conquer our anger, our laziness, our arrogance. And if we work on that, like many times we've spoken before, how do we work on that? Mainly is by control, self-control, Shreyas Hamidas, controlling ourselves. The more we control ourselves, that's how much we're able to overcome and rid ourselves and uproot from ourselves. So certainly as we work on ourselves, so they will not have an effect on us when we make decisions. In other words, we, we know we have that Mida, we have to work on getting rid of the Mida. If we get rid of it, so it's not going to be an uh, underlying reason for what we're deciding to do. So uh, we might not realize at the time of we're doing something that this is the underlying Mida causing us to do it, but if we would have worked on it before and uh, and uprooted from ourselves, that means that it wouldn't have the effect on us. So that we have to work on the generally speaking, all meters, we have to work on the character traits to perfect them. And through that, we'll be able to, uh, uh, to we'll be able to uh, uh, make proper decisions at the right time. <laughs> Who can I call? 